Genshin Impact has made a boatload of money, and Roblox is preparing to be listed on the stock market. All that and more, my name's Ethos, and this is your top five stories of Free to Play Weekly. So coming in at number five, it looks like things are going pretty well with Rogue Company, hi Res's latest shooter. In fact, the game only recently entered open beta, and it's already beating the player count of every other game on the company's roster. According to a tweet from hi Res co-founder and CEO, Stuart Chrisom, the game's player count has been steadily increasing with approximately 2.5 million new players since beta kickoff. Interestingly, this tweet was posted on October the 4th, at which point he stated that 25% more people played the game than they had the day before. That number knocked the player count up to a point where it's 50% higher than Smite, Paladins, or Realm Royale on any given day. I think it's going to be interesting in the future to see about how the numbers will increase as time goes on. And coming in at number four, it looks like Genshin Impact is off to a good start. How good? Well, how about bigger than Fortnite? It looks like the South China Morning Post is reporting that MiHoYo's new free-to-play online RPG has had more views on Twitch than Fortnite on launch day. It raked in more income than TikTok in what's being called the biggest international launch of a Chinese game in history. It's had over 100,000 concurrent viewers on Twitch, topping Fortnite and receiving generally good reviews throughout the internet. It landed number two on Apple's App Store in China, and it's grossing $1.84 million USD. And according to one industry consultant, I don't think a Chinese-made game has ever made that many pre-registrations outside of its home market. Another expert calls it surely ambitious, with the potential of Mihail to have a super hit on their hands in the long run. And you might be asking, well, how big of a hit? Well, it looks like Nico Partners analyst Daniel Ahmad has his estimates, and they're pretty huge. With $50 million in its first week already covering its development costs, Ahmad thinks that Genshin Impact could top the $100 million mark in worldwide revenue by the end of this month. Despite being only nominally multiplayer, Genshin Impact could go down as one of the biggest MMORPG launches of 2020. And moving on to number three, while any video games go through some changes during its development cycle, the free-to-play battle royale game Spellbreak has remained largely unaltered. CEO Seth Sevak sat down recently with GameIndustry.biz to talk a little bit about the game's origins and early development, which included the primary goal of being very watchable, streamable, and shareable. To that end, he said that he wanted a battle royale all the way back in 2016 before Fortnite and PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds came to the scene. H1Z1 served more as an inspiration, though he wanted to have more of a fantasy style take on the genre. The team combined a pair of prototypes, one of a Dota 2 mod and one of more of a Viking theme. The game naturally went through several iterations, some with more of a ranged shooter or melee focused, finally coming together as what was called a magic spellcasting game, as opposed to a bullet simulation shooter like PUBG or a builder shooter like Fortnite. He also wanted to ensure that games should be available on all platforms, but believes very strongly that every multiplayer game should be cross-platform with cross-progression. As for the game's watchability, Savak talked about the game's early attempts at publicization, which included trying to write contracts with these 16-year-olds to get them to make videos for the game. This was less than half a decade ago when none of that infrastructure existed regarding influencer marketing. That seems like ancient times now as we live in an age where every game of any reputation will have at least a few sponsored streams or videos from popular content creators. And moving into number two, if you're a League of Legends fan obsessed with KDA, well then you've been probably waiting for this announcement. The group's upcoming album, All Out, is almost ready to release. In fact, you'll be able to listen to it in full on November the 6th. This album precedes the group's pop star single in 2018 and hit number one on the K-pop charts and number two on the pop charts. It was also the number one world digital song at the time and the video has over 340 million views to date. The first single off of All Out is The Baddest, which was released last month on September the 12th and has already over 2 million views. And finally, our biggest story, which is pretty big if you're into stocks, for years you've been able to make things in Roblox and soon you'll be able to buy a piece of Roblox for yourself. A report from Rudders has detailed that the free-to-play gaming juggernaut might be looking to go public in early 2021, offering a listing on the US stock market with a valuation of about $8 billion. According to a source, the developer is considering whether to go with a traditional IPO, initial public offering, or a more rare direct listing, in which no new shares are sold and underwriting banks do not weigh in on the price. According to the developer, Roblox has 115 million monthly active users and more than 1.5 billion hours of monthly engagement in February. At that point, it was valued at $4 billion and has raised over an additional $150 million in funding. And that's your top five news stories of the week for Free to Play Weekly. For the question of the week, let's talk a little bit about Roblox. What do you think about this idea of it going public with a stock option? Would you be interested in investing in Roblox or do you think, eh, nah, probably not? Do you think it's gonna be successful in the stock market or do you think it's gonna waver and fall off? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.
And that's your top five stories for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Don't forget to check out MMOBomb.com for giveaways and the latest news. My name's Ethos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, everyone.